Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about Notion on Linux. So uh, for those of you who don't know, Notion is a complex app that does a lot of things. It's um, project management, note taking, uh, database making. Uh, it does this, does a ton of things. If you don't really know what it is, there's a ton of videos on YouTube about explaining workflows and stuff. There's even an entire subreddit where people go through and do really cool things with Notion that you probably didn't even know that it could be done um, or you know or even know that they should be done or you know want to be done uh, so I will be the first to admit that I am not a Notion power user I use it for one thing only um, and that's to create a database of videos for this channel um, eventually I'm going to move the show notes for the Linux cast over there as well, I believe, because it's really cool. So, um, let me show you what Notion looks like. Um, this is what basically what Notion looks like. I'm not going to go through all the features mainly because that's not the point of the video. It's just this is more for people who use Notion but also want to use it on Linux. So, um, Notion itself does not have an app on Linux. It's not a native. There's not a native app for it. So most people will have to use. Uh, let's see. Let's let's go ahead and um, Notion right here. So this is what Notion looks like on the web, and it's basically the same thing I just showed you. So you could use this and put in a pin tab, and it would be perfectly usable. And most people just do that because I mean they use their browser anyways, and you know so it doesn't add any overhead of like Electron or anything like that. But I prefer applications. So uh, you have two ways of doing that. You can either use something like uh, a Chromium based web app that you put in a container. Um, you can just, I can't, I don't have Chrome to show you how to do that, but you can, you can save a tab as an app and that will show up in your .desktop uh, files. And that should be accessible, accessible by things like Rofi or your app menus or whatever that you use in your desktop environments. Um, or you can do what I've done, and I've done I've done something that's called use something called Lotion. Lotion for Notion. Yep, it was a very creative name. This is the Lotion page. I'll put the link to this down in the description. It is in the AUR, I believe. Um, uh, maybe it's not in the AUR. Hmm. May. I could be wrong with that. I thought I installed it via the AUR. Mm -mm. Maybe. That might be the same one. Um, nope, that's definitely not the same one. That's a, that's, a, that's a font. Okay. Well, this... This one's not the same one either. Anyways, so it's not in the AR. You have to build it from scratch. So it's looks like it's really from what I remember is really easy um, obviously I don't remember well because I thought I installed it via the AUR but I installed so much I don't really remember so it's just copying this via wget and curl or, or curl and then running this setup script, script, script and then it does appear in your you know because it, it, it creates a dot desktop app so it will show up in Rofi or your application menus and this is an actual app so let's uh this is what it looks like from by you know not by default because this is actually mine, um, and yes you can see my upcoming video topics which is okay, um, I'm not hiding anything, um, and this is just basically what Notion is. It's uh, you can create a many many things. So like this is a database that then has each one of these things is actually a page that has a script and sometimes it has research. Um, these more recent ones down here have a research tab that I haven't actually started yet. Then it has a place for links and stuff and you can add you know headings, numbers, toggle lists, links to different pages that you have in your Notion database, links to databases that you have. You can create a database within a database. You can link from one database to another. Uh, you can link to videos and social media posts and, and, and embed them right in the you know your pages here. Um, I don't usually do that because it just seems to add a little bit of overhead that I don't really need. I just 
paste the link when I need to do something. Um, but there's just tons and tons of stuff here that you uh, that you can do, you know, with Notion. Like I said, I'm not going to um, do a tutorial of you know what Notion is. I will leave that to other YouTubers because I'm not an expert on that at all. Um, but if you're a Notion user and you want to use uh, Notion on Linux, I recommend Lotion. I, it's it's a weird name, but that's what it is. This is just it is a web container, so this is just the website, I believe. Um, but it has options, it has um, you know, you can develop toggle developer tools and change the the window size and stuff like that. So I guess there's not a lot of stuff here. Um, I actually thought that it has that it it had some preferences, but um. That's beside the point. So basically, this, like I said, this is just a web web container. I think it's it doesn't actually say. So when you open up Help and Support, it just opens up the Notion Help and Support app. So it doesn't have the. If you want to get into the uh, Notion settings, you have to go through and do it down here. Uh, where is it? Maybe it's here. As you can tell, I don't use. I'm I'm not an in-depth user of of Notion, so I can't. Oh, settings and members right here. So this is just the normal settings. So I would like it if they actually had a link to that up in the menu system. Um, but it's just like I said, it's just a web container, probably Electron. Um, I haven't noticed any. Um, if we can move this over here and do H top and search for Lotion. Uh, it doesn't use, I mean, it does use a fair bit of CPU power, but, um, so, I mean, it's not, it, but it's, a, it's an Electron app, probably, so it, it's going to use stuff. That's just the way it is. Anyways, um, that is, uh, so that's Lotion, um, for Notion, and it's just a simple way to use Linux, or Notion on your desktop that doesn't entail using keeping it open in your, in your web browser all the time. So, that is it for uh, this video. Uh, if you want to, this is just very simple. I liked Lotion. I thought I would share it. So, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. If you want to support us, you can do so on patreon.com slash the Linuxcast. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.